It's cold in there, but it wasn't cold outside today. No, no ice nice. outdoors, which is fantastic for early March. Yeah, it's going to be even warmer in the afternoon tomorrow, but our overnight lows really on the entire 10 day forecast for us are going to stay in the 20s and 30s. So don't get lulled to sleep in the morning. Enjoy the afternoon, but it's going to be chilly in the morning. It is nice outside all over central North Carolina. Here's a live look on Salem Street over in Apex where it's still 60 degrees. One of our more than 50 cameras across the state. Here's another one over in Rocky Mount. That's Nash Community College. 60 degrees with sunny skies there. And one of our newest cameras up in Granville County. This is in Oxford on Main Street. This is actually parked at the uh, hub on Main looking at uh, the uh, Granville County uh, uh, building there looking off to sunny skies where it's 57 degrees. Happy to have our friends up in Granville County on the map. And again, today was great, but technically it was still winter. There is officially 17 days until spring begins. That is on Saturday, March 20th. Spring like temperatures today, as many of us are still around 60 degrees, upper 50s to low 60s around most of the triangle. Still mid to low 60s down in the sand hills, but our nights are still longer than our days this time of year. So that's why it's so easy for us to get cold at night, even with warm days. So a comfortable evening as we'll still be in the low 50s by 8 o'clock, but overnight with clear skies and calm winds will fall through the 40s, winding up about 38 tomorrow morning. Now 38 is cold, but it is one of the warmer mornings we have over the coming days. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. But as we look ahead to the weekend, even though it is in the 60s today and it will be again tomorrow, we cool back down into the 50s this weekend. That a little different than last week. And remember last weekend on Sunday, the last day of February, some of us made it close to 80 degrees. So it's going to be a little different as we head into this weekend. And here's what I mean by our morning temperature. So this morning it was 34. We made it into the low 60s. We'll go back down to 38 tonight. But then after that dry cold front later this week, look here. Friday and Saturday morning we start in the low 30s, but here's a map I've wanted to show you for a really long time. Our rain chances over the next five days, 0%. In fact, we're going to be in the stretch of about seven, eight, nine days where we have dry weather. That is our longest stretch of the year. So it's a good time to remind you that even though we don't have any rain in the forecast, that March still sometimes brings us snow. Now, so far this winter, we've only had 1.6 inches way below our 30 year average of 5.1. But March snow occasionally happens. In fact, we got more than 17 inches back on March 7th, March 2nd, 1927. But the last time we had March snow was a couple years ago. We got 1.6 inches in March of 2018. So no snow and hardly any rain on your extended forecast. But we do have a warm day tomorrow in the mid and upper 60s. Dry cold front comes through Thursday night into Friday. And that's what sets the stage for 50s Friday, Saturday and Sunday. We do start a warm up as we get into next week, though. So our three degree guarantee high tomorrow, 66. Today it was 63. We had forecast 60, so just barely, but sneaking in there with our three degree guarantee and another $100 from us and our friends at Michael and Son going to this month's charity, Peak Lab Rescue, the largest foster based dog rescue in the state, meaning they don't have a building. All the dogs they adopt are at foster homes. You can learn more about them at peaklabrescue.com. All right, Wes, thank you. COVID vaccines are going out to war.